Layout Update 3. Welcome to Midsummer Rollway in Scale. I'm your host, Greg. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to update three. It's been a bit slow. Um, haven't had a lot of chance to do much because my daughter having a new baby, number two, so grandson number two, we've been down there helping out a lot while she adjusts and, and gets into uh, a new routine of two kids. So I haven't had a lot of time to do stuff. So I'm going to show you where we're up to. I still don't have any trains running yet. And unfortunately, I've actually ripped out other parts of the layout because um, not being home and not being able to drive uh, very far, I've been waiting on some stupid little insulators. Yep, you got it. So I can uh, block some of the layout. My normal place hasn't had any. Um, and uh, I finally got some a couple of days ago. However, I got frustrated one day and I ripped out some other sections and nicked all the uh, insulators. So what am I talking about? I don't know whether we can see this. These little fellas. They insulate the track. Not many people at this stage have these, so obviously it has to be by postage. And um, it was just one of those things. So as I said, I got frustrated the other day, so I uh, hacked in. Anyway, let's have a look where we're at. Well, the first thing you can see is that I've uh, painted the baseboard and yes I put a little bit more um, scenery in only a little bit not much just to define where the outside track was so I could make sure that I could lock down the outside track um, not finished probably get another few coats of static uh, grass you can see I've put a station in and you can also see that there's uh, a few uh, lights and uh, so I still have to check the track or tracks I should say um, but I've just been trying to get everything in the right place um, I decided to add the extra track and then I tried to block it and I didn't have any of the insulators so here you can see I've got um, one of the blocks ready to go in so I've soldered the uh, wires to the base of the track put the two insulators as you can see there in one end and join the other end and using the bus those two wires will drop down into the bus now each track I have has a different color so I know which um, track we're dealing with even though this track will be connected to the main track it just denotes that this is track B and not C so as you can see fitted it in there I'll connect that to the bus later maybe in the next video as you can see when it focuses, I'm holding up a three light LED signalling unit. And you can already see that I've got three in place with leads dropped down. Um, already in place long enough to reach wherever I need to for the moment. I also have at the start of the station... Um, as we pan across, you can see that there's got lights 
not connected yet, but again, the leads are dropped down. Two little black boxes are a infrared send and receive. And the leads are dropped down and uh, will be connected up. Not sure what I'm going to connect it to or how I'm going to do it yet. I'm still making up my mind. Yes, you can see the panels. None of this is finished. This is only the basic work until I have the tracks bedded in and working. And then we'll uh, fix up the scenery. So you can see the signals. There are... Uh, the wires have been dropped underneath. You can see a hole in the uh, track or where the track finishes. And I know unfortunately it's not focusing properly. Sorry about that. But an infrared sensor will go into the hole and uh, be wired in. Now, as you can see, um, I have drilled a couple of holes when it focuses and there's not enough light in here I apologize and um, the infrared sensor will go into the two holes and uh, if I get them around the right way and that's probably not the right way I want it so we'll turn it round uh, blooper <laughs> oh well we'll keep that in so put that in and then that will drop into the hole. Um, the other end of this has um, insulators to isolate the track. The idea being that these two tracks will integrate back into one track, to the main track. Because of the old layout, I can't completely run three separate tracks. So there you can see right now I'm pointing and uh, that's uh, where the insulators will um, go in. So the idea is that the, if the two trains come along at the same time, they will be detected by the sensors and then stopped by the lights and allowing then one, which will be the main track to go through as the priority, and hold the other one until the other train has gone through the switch point, allowing also some time between the two trains. And there you can see the switch point and the two tracks joining together. I've done this because in the old layout at this stage, there's not enough room to put three tracks right around the whole layout. So there's a lot of scenery work to be done, but this is the basic test to make sure that everything works and all the trains run, they go up the hills and down the hills without any issues. And then further scenery will be done at that stage. As we quickly pan around, you can see that the three tracks run for most of the new layout. I've put the scenery in just a bit of grass to actually define the outside track. And I just needed something else to do to occupy my mind. And it's not finished yet. It'll probably get another few layers of static grass and etc. etc. inside there. So as you can see, the, the tracks are pretty well... Um, hopefully bedded in and uh, I'm just finishing off as you can see that comes back to the bits that I have ripped out and yes it's not finished yet there's a little bit of track work to still be done and I'm still not sure whether I'm going to take one of the tracks underneath the layout and put another track in there so there you can see where the three tracks are now this section here well I had a few issues with it, so I pulled it all out and just redid that little bit. And as I pan round, you will see there's a few bits missing where I nicked some insulators while waiting for the order to come through. And I also needed a couple of little short pieces of track which were there, so I also took those. So that's as far as I've got so far. Still a lot of scenery, still a lot of 
testing to do before we go any further. But at least you can see where I'm up to and what I've been doing. So it's only a short update today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It's free. And then you'll get all the latest updates if you hit the little bell icon that says all. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my subscribers and any new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Yes, it's only short. Until next time, keep those model trains on the rails. Bye. Midsummer Railway's new layout. So that again, Midsummer's Railway, Midsummer Rail. Ugh. I can't even pronounce my own channel. Uh. <laughs>